I am not a horse healer. I am not a human healer or any type of healer. I recognized that what I'm doing lays in a totally different sense. When I'm standing next to a horse or other animal, I take full responsibility for my actions and space for my own self. Not for the horse. There is a very significant boundary between me and this horse. I stand next and activate my own energy field for only one purpose, to practice and practice, again and again, in order to expand my abilities for my own growth. This is an ability of being a neutral, empty transmitter of sentient energy who knows better than me what to do. Me as a transmitter, I empty my vessel from my personality, mind chatter and judgments. Because if I will start evaluating the condition of this horse, I'm interfering and blocking the energy to work. My human personality possesses limiting aspects. These are human language, words, emotions. And together they manifest as knowing. As if I know what's going on with this horse. One truth that I learned from energy practice, things are not what they seem to be. So when I stand next to Pashar, this is the name of this gelding, who has severe chronic issues with digestion and legs, and he cannot walk from time to time. And I've been seeing him like this for seven months. I silence myself. And I know that Pashar, he also has a choice. He can come to me and accept to receive the energy transmission. Or not. If he comes, he will decide what to do with it. And in this process, I do not label him as sick, poor, suffering animal. I do not feel that I want to save and help him. Because then I label him as weak and helpless. Instead, I just remind him that it's up to him and he has inner resources that he can remember. The next morning after this video, I visited him again, and he was full of energy that almost felt like fire. He was urged to join the herd, who was slowly disappearing into the hills. And Pashar was walking perfectly on all four legs. And so we opened the gate and he took off to catch up with other horses. This is a very crucial moment for me when I practice my neutrality even more. I add humility and silence because in such situation my personality can claim all the success and validation for own self and maybe label myself as a healer. But it wasn't me who helped. Pashar helped him own self. While I was helping my own self. And in this process we were partners. We were equals. And his work is not done. Because he was fine just for two days. And later he returned back in limping painful state. There is an obvious threshold that he is not passing in his internal understanding. And this is where I step back. I do not impose and push. The same I apply to people. I do not see them as weak, poor, suffering, even if it appears so externally. The worst thing that we can do is pity. When you pity others, 
you actually pity your own self. And by pitying, you claim that the force who created you, who planted a seed of life and light inside you, is irrelevant. And there is no gratitude in such attitude towards own self and others. And no one can help you, because you are not helpless. Only when you change perception of your own self, you shrink. Only when you judge and label things and events the way they look, you distant yourself from the light. There cannot be healing, and there are no healers in a world that is not sick. There is a world of wonder and mystery and infinite potential where information and energy changes every second. And if you move with it, if you expand your perception every second, then you are tuned in with the nature, time, space and creation. <laughs>